Once I get on the mound, I'm laser focused on what I need to do. I do not want to lose that at bat or that pitch at all. I want to win, I don't want to lose. When I was nine, got on the mound for the first time and never looked back since. I would say if it wasn't for IMG, I wouldn't be here where I am now. The majority of things I've learned now is from them. Plyos, how to work out, my routine, all that was thanks to them, and I still use all three of those things now. Draft day was a pretty nervous, anxious day. It was a day that I've definitely been waiting for my whole life. I knew early where I was gonna get picked, but still to be able to trust somebody and to be able to wait that long, it's, it was still definitely nervous, but the Cubs called saying that if I made it to 47, I was gonna get picked at 47. The 47th pick of the 2022 MLB Draft, the Chicago Cubs select Jackson Ferris, a left-handed pitcher from IMG Academy, Bradenton, Florida. The Minnesota Twins have the next pick. Been in Arizona the whole week. I get a call on Sunday saying I'm going to Myrtle Beach. I fly out Monday morning to have my mom, my dad, my brother, a couple family friends who came to that game to watch me again. It was, it was great. Went out there super anxious, and luckily it didn't play to a disadvantage. It actually played to my advantage that day. I'm hoping and expecting I do that every single time because I think that's what I should do. It was definitely a surreal moment to be able to say that I like, struck out seven of 10 batters I faced, and then I walk off the mound and Buddy has a talk with me about, so you didn't want to strike out the last two hitters, huh? And that was pretty funny, and then made me realize about just how good my first star was. I only saw him that one day. He threw a live BP right at the end, and I'm going, who is this guy? Out shagging, and it was really polished and good. That day, he really was sharp, sharp with everything. And I think what happens, guys, when you get under the lights and you get in the contest that matters, like the regular season, the adrenaline rush goes a little higher. And I think with more time and reps, he'll control that better, which in turn enable him to control his pitches better. I like working with Bruce. I worked with him a little bit in spring training, of course. Then they came out here, I stayed in Arizona, and then coming out here, it was really good to be able to like be back with him. And he been working a lot with me on my slider, keeping my front shoulder closed on that. It's a sweeper slider. So I like to do middle finger on the inside of this lace right there, pointer finger on the outside of that lace, and then thumb just tuck and throw it basically the same way I throw my curveball. Loosen my wrist, not a stiff wrist like I do with my curveball though, and just come right over the top and that'll create the the sweet movement with a little bit of drop. Well, I noticed he's been throwing that slider more here lately, and his outings will get better and better and better along the way. My first week here was a huge wake-up call, and you better have everything locked in because it's all on your own. If you're not putting in what you need, you're not going to get the results that you want either. One of their big points is just that I'm super young. Let it all happen the way it's going to be, and just to go out there and have fun with the game. Don't let it get too hard, too difficult right now. Don't give in to what the fans say. You already have so much pressure on yourself to succeed. You don't need the added pressure of what this person says, what that person says. Stay within yourself the whole time. How fast the game moves is all under my control. Being around these guys and being like a friend with all these guys, it's just allowed me to like not take everything too serious and still be the chill guy that I was in high school. I would say we're really close. Everybody goes up to everybody asks, whether it's about baseball or it's about life or it's about golf. Like, it, it doesn't really matter. We all go up to each other, and even people who don't know English that much, we all go up to and we all try and talk to. So it's, it's really nice. Just here with the Cubs, and my grandpa's from Chicago, so my future's here with the Cubs.